Hello lovely people, it's me Michal Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement. I'm going just to love yourself subject and one of the things what I remind myself I would like to say to myself but also share with you. Part of loving myself is reminding myself that I'm a great person. I'm choosing everything what I do from my heart and I'm following my heart always. My intention is to learn how to love better and doing it. And not everybody would accept it the way how I do. I work with the sacred sexuality. I'm taking people very deep. And there are some times, moments, when some people will judge or look through their fears through their conditionings and I will feel very insecure about myself and what I'm doing and I will question myself. There are some days when we feel down about ourselves because of maybe the weather or maybe you know someone mistreated us or someone have different opinion. So I have to remind myself in those days that I am a good person and following my heart. I'm learning how to love better, also love myself better. And that's what the lesson is of today is, that beside of those days, you know you are a great person. I know I am a great person. I tattooed myself with the Tantra Movement logo and then I realized that actually now I have to be proud of myself. I always say during some meditations, but also during my classes, be proud of yourself now and always. And with this tattoo on my back, I have to be proud of myself now and always and carry it with the proud. So it's not only me, but also Tantra movement, my passion, my life. I have it on my back. And when I take off my shirt, I have to be proud of it. So that's why it's a deep responsibility on me in my life, that I live my life the way that I'm always proud of myself, that I can look into my eyes and say, you are a beautiful being, you are an amazing being, you love people, you love yourself, in such a beautiful way and you still want to learn to love yourself more and love the others better love your partner better it's amazing i'm proud of myself that i'm such a beautiful being and in these moments i have to remind myself those things hey there are maybe some people who judge you who may do not like that you go so deep with the sexuality, with the approaches. And they may not like the way how I do, but I choose the deepest way, what follows my heart. And there are no situations that everyone would be pleased. You cannot please everyone, don't even try. There would be always someone who may not like it. Even you will try your best. You will please the other person, but the other person have opposite meaning of it. And it's not possible even. So forget about it. Follow your heart. The one person who you can always please, it's yourself. And I'm very happy to please myself. And I know that by loving myself and choosing my own path, I'm reaching out to those who need that in the way exactly how I present it. And in those down moments, down days, I remind myself, hey, there are very, a lot of people who I left behind in my life, happy, very happy. I changed their lives. I made their relationships stronger, deeper, better, more conscious. There are many of them, there are many testimonies, there are people all the time writing to me, hey, you influenced my life such a great way. 
And for those I choose the way who I am. And for those I am in the best version of myself. I have to remember that. And also what helps me a lot, a lot, a lot. And that's also following my responsibility. I'm very proud of myself. 15 years in Tantra, 10 years teaching, giving massages, private session, coaching, taking people very, very deep sometimes. And I'm very happy. I believe that the reason for it is that I'm always praying for being a channel of love in my life, that the love flow through me. And I'm very happy that through these 10 years, I never left victim behind. No one person could say that I harm that person, that I did hurt that person. Of course, people are conditioned, people have their own projections, but afterwards they realize, okay, it was my projection. After the process is finished, Tantra is part of the triggering someone's wounds and as a teacher, as a tantric masseur, as a tantric practitioner, healer, you have to take this into consideration that you would be judged, you would be triggered yourself by someone being triggered by your behavior, your massage, your actions, you confronting their old conditionings, you triggering their wounds. But then you have to know Hey, I'm doing things from the heart. It's not about me. It's about the wounds, what I'm triggering. Stay Shiva. Don't get involved into their process. Don't make the wrong energy circulate. Don't re-traumatize yourself, them. Remember who you are. Love yourself. Love yourself and always follow your heart. Keep pure. <laughs> Keep pure in your heart. I love you as more I love you, I love myself more, as more I love myself, I love you better. And that's what I want to say to my all ex-partners with gratitude and all my, maybe I wish one the last longer relationship partner in the future. Relationship. Thank you for your attention. Love yourself. Aho.